Introduction to Algorithm In this session, we will explain algorithm using real-life example. We will define algorithm. We will study the steps to create generalized algorithm. And we will discuss the advantages of generalized algorithm. First of all, let's see what is algorithm. Let us take a real-life example to understand the concept of an algorithm. Let's talk about how to prepare a cup of tea. First of all, take an empty vessel. Add a cup of water to the vessel. Place the vessel on the stove. Add sugar to the water. When water starts boiling, add tea leaves to the water. Allow the water to boil for 5 minutes. Now add a cup of milk to the mixture. Remove from the flame. And your cup of hot tea is ready. So, all the steps that we performed just now to prepare tea are together called as an algorithm. Similarly, to write a program, we have to plan the steps to be performed to achieve the desired goals of our program. Therefore, an algorithm is defined as a finite set of instructions to be followed to achieve the desired results. Now let us study how to make a generalized algorithm. If we write an algorithm in universal language, then it becomes very easy to understand that algorithm. Such an algorithm is known as generalized algorithm. The steps that are to be followed to write a generalized algorithm are Decide objectives or goal of the algorithm Write down the procedure in plain English Break it down in key steps Avoid excessive explanations. Now let us study an algorithm for searching a number in a given list. Step 1. Arrange the given data in array format. Step 2. Compare the given number with the first number in the array. Step 3. If the numbers are equal, then stop searching operation. Show the message, search is successful. Step 4. Otherwise, compare the number with the second, third and so on until the end of the array. For each array index, repeat step 3. Step 5. If the given number is not found in the array, then show a message, search failed. Let us study the advantages of generalized algorithm. Since the steps written in algorithm are in universal language, it does not have any language restriction. Generalized algorithm can be implemented in the required programming language. Generalized algorithms avoid ambiguity and focus on the solutions of given problems. So it makes program writing easy. So friends, let us revise the topics covered in this session. We studied what is an algorithm with the help of a real life example. After that, we studied steps to create generalized algorithm. We also studied the advantages of generalized algorithms.